Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Inart 1-6 scale prototype review. Now before we begin I do have to say a massive thank you to two companies. The first being ToysWonderland.com for helping me fly out here and make these videos. And the second is Inart for reaching out to me personally and asking me Justin. Do you want to check out our prototypes and do some reviews? To which of course I said, hell yes I do, and here we are. Now we'll be taking a look at none other than Gandalf. Now I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan, you all know this, but in preparation for making this video, I actually watched the first film, so I've got a little bit more Lord of the Rings knowledge than I did before. What we are going to do now though, is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box, take a closer look at everything he comes with. Starting off with the display base first, it looks like it's carved out of a hunk of stone, but it isn't, it's just sculpted to look that way. I like the texture, up front it says Gandalf with some yellow inlay, and if you're wondering how does he attach to the display base, there's no crotch grabber. Yeah, there are magnets inside the display base and in Gandalf's feet, so not only is he secure on the base, there's no ugly crotch grabber. He does also come with his hat, it's this felt style fabric, it looks way better than the Asmus one, it's no longer this big poofy thing. And yes, we will pop this on his head a little bit later. These two accessories were kind of destined to be together. We've got an envelope with an imprint of the ring and a seal. It's quite filthy. Now you can open up the envelope and pop the ring inside. The ring is real metal and even though it's absolutely microscopic, there's still the inscription sculpted in. It's worth noting that he does come with the book, but this is the prototype. Unfortunately, the book didn't make the journey out here, but with the final one, you will get the book. You do get some creepy crawlies. They're really small, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's still 1-6 scale insects. You do get both of Gandalf's staffs, yes, two of them. Initially people were freaking out saying, oh no, we're not going to get the second staff. Yes you will, don't worry. This one does have the gem up top. They both look suitably organic, like they've been carved out of wood, but they're not, they're sculpted. I also like the paint with the washers in the crevices, some lighter dry brushing as well. The gem will light up for the final version. As for this one, it does have this little nail in the side. You can also slot the pipe in up the top if you want to. Which one would I display Gandalf with? I'm not sure. Let me know which one you prefer down below. Seeing as though I just mentioned it, yes, you do get the pipe. It will slot into that staff like I just said. You've got some lighter shading towards the end. Then on the inside, some sculpted in detail. Kind of looks like tobacco. Then again, I don't even know if he put tobacco in those things. I'm not a smoker, so if you know, please advise. I'm pretty sure it is, but I could be wrong. You do have a real metal sword, and it looks awesome. It's a little bit prickly, do be careful. The detail is impeccable, including the blue on the grip and the blue on the sheath. Plus, the sheath itself does have some airbrush shading, and the bottom and top really shiny. And lastly we get a full array of hands and I don't know how else to say this but they look like old people hands. They're wrinkly, there's some liver and age spots, I like the vein work, they're painted beautifully. Even the nails are a little bit dirty. What we are going to do now though is get Gandalf himself out here. Standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses, but yes, some accessories. He's wearing the hat and the brown cloak and he's holding his staff just to complete the look and he looks all the better for it. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm only a mid-level Lord of the Rings fan. I literally just started watching the movies, but... This guy kind of does it for me. If I was to collect one character from the series, it would be Gandalf. Even from a distance, the head sculpt looks just like him. More on that in a second. The outfit lays well. There's a ton of fabric, so that can't have been easy. Up close and personal, kicking things off with the head sculpt first. Now, do bear in mind, this entire figure isn't final. It's a work in progress. However, with that being said, the head sculpt is still really good. It looks exactly like Gandalf from every angle. 
I like the expression, the skin texture, the frown lines, the paint applications, it's all second to none. Don't forget, his eyes are movable, but I can't show you that here, it's, again, not final. The hair, on the other hand, I mean, you can see it, it looks incredible. Now, you will have to style it just a little, both for the beard and the hair up on top, but a little bit of hair gel and some futzing, you can make it look even better. I did remove his brown robe from the start of the video, we will pop it back on though a little bit later. His grey robe is pleated throughout, it hugs the body where it needs to, it is baggy just like it was in the movie, but not overly so. It's also textured, it's got this kind of hessian-like texture, looks good to me. The cuffs have some stitch detail, and up top around his beard area, just tucked up underneath, some detail there too. You do have the gash on one side, and underneath the robe, the tan shirt, which, you guessed it, is textured. Plus, the entire outfit from head to toe is weathered. There is a lot going on with his belt area though, I've just added the sword, it kind of slots into this strap. By the way, the blue strapping has some teeny tiny silver details, plus some straps and buckles, it all looks really good. The belt is this kind of woven fabric, the same thing can be said for the sash for the bag, and the bag is a real opening working bag, plus it's suitably dirty and grimy. Coming down to the legs, once you uncover them, some baggy style grey pants, also weathered. Then the boots underneath are quite tall, with real laces and their material, so when it comes to posing, they're quite flexible. Going over articulation, do bear in mind this is a prototype, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, the final version, you can go a little bit further than I am willing to go. Starting off with the head sculpt, it's on a ball joint, going in pretty much every direction, forward and back, swivel and pivot. The arms do go out to there, they go forward and back, butterfly joint at the shoulder that also hinges up and down. Swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow going past 90. Then a regular 1-6 scale wrist peg with a magnet inside for the hand. The torso does crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot. The legs go forward to there, going out to there, swivel at the upper thigh, ratcheted double bend at the knee going past 90. Then lastly, double ball peg down here for the ankle. Wrapping up on Lord of the Rings Gandalf by Inart in 1-6 scale. I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I've said this earlier in the review, I only literally just watched the first movie on the plane on the way here to film this video, but this guy checks all the boxes. I like the Asmus one, but long story short, even in the prototype stage and being an early one at that, this is way better. The rooted hair is incredible, it's super fine, super thin, it looks very realistic. And that's the same word I'd use to describe the head sculpt, it looks really real. You'll be able to move the eyes with the final one, the hat actually sits on the head sculpt, not just kind of hovering above like the Asmus with the magnet. As I said, way better. The outfit comes together beautifully, there's a ton of layers, there's different textures and tattered edges, and the details overall, just fantastic. As for the accessories, even though the book wasn't here, I'm happy with the spread, but We'll leave it at that, when he does come out, I'll pick one up and do a full unboxing and review. I do once again have to say thank you to Inart for letting me film this review. If you are heading down to the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button, so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. Like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.